They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. It's the first carry for the former Georgia Bulldog, Gurley. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. To throw is Rodgers. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Accelerating, and off he goes. <laughs> and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Sales over the end line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. So now two pick sixes that he's thrown in this first half of play. Where do you go from here? But number one, make sure you keep your poise. Make sure you go to the sideline after throwing this second one. And you look like you're still in charge, that you're still the guy, because your team's going to feed off of you. And if you're having your hands on your head or shaking your head, walking with your head down, guess what? They're not going to rally. This across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let this one. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off here, the 32. Top Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Back to it after the pick six. Mariota. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. But you saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he is level. Knocked down hard. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. To throw is Mariota. Now he's forced out left. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. On second down, Elliott. And he'll be 
brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game. Not this and he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from a yard out. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Rodgers now to throw again. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. Escaping the pressure right. A hit as he throws there incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure. in the first quarter already sacked him once now they get in there and knock another one away you think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder yes indeed that time lucky that the arm was going forward incomplete pass so a short drop but he's able to get it out and this is a good kick that's taken at around the 40 Nearly broke that one. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And this offense is going to be set up with a first and 10 inside the 15. The Falcons averaged 34 points a game last year. Tops in the NFL with that powerful offense. And they're already looking for more here as they've got it first and 10. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. And the defense will get their hands on it, going the other way. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved, and that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. Again, they run with Gurley. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Terrific coverage in the end zone that time. Forced him out of the pocket to his right. I thought maybe he'd try and run it there, but no one came open for him. Nice job by the defense not getting out of their lanes. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. 
It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Gurley again here on first down. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Throwing is Rodgers. While there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Flush to his right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Khalil Mack coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. Rodgers to throw on second down. Flushed out right. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Well, I tell you, I thought either the scoreboard was wrong or I was wrong or both. But that was an attempt for a field goal on third down, and it was no good as well. And I'm trying to wrap what little brain I have around why this would be a good idea. But I cannot come up with a logical explanation for that one. Yeah, well, my brain's smaller, so I can't either. I don't know what they were doing. On target over the middle to Hill. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because... And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Falcons! Tyreek Hill, 47 yards. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy at his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want Where the guys covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. Now this offense ready to head back out there. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally, you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally, <laughs> I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. Hey, this hey, has to be that? a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Rodgers going to throw. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. A lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looks pretty good until the finish. Rodgers now to throw, eluding the pressure right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. We haven't even escaped. 